we are now gonna start with having a quick overview of application lifecycle management ARM. We all know about SDLC, Software Development Lifecycle. It starts with requirements, design, and then implementation, testing, and release. In ALM, the application lifecycle starts way before this. It starts with the beginning of the idea, when the time requesting the project itself. After requesting the project, you begin to plan the project, what you are going to do exactly and when. Okay. Then after that, you start with SDLC and manage the SDLC. After that, there's something called maintain the application. Then the application means fixing bugs and giving support. After maintaining the application, there's a stage called retirement. Retirement of the application either means it will not be used anymore or you will gonna hand it over to the customer and won't code any more requests for it. So as you can see, LM has an oversight of all the stages of the application from its start as an idea to its retirement. So if you'd like to give a definition for LM, we can say addressing all phases of creation of a new system from inception to retirement. Microsoft has made a great set of tools for LM. As you can see, you have here Visual Studio 2010 Professional is an essential tool for basic development tasks to allow developers to implement their ideas easily. This include core capabilities for Windows, Web, Office Development, SharePoint, Cloud, and so many other things. Next, we will have Visual Studio 2010 Premium. Visual Studio 2010 Premium is a complete toolset for developers to deliver scalable, high-quality applications, which includes support for offline database development, unit testing, change management, static code analysis, performance profiling, and many other stuff. We may also include all the features in the professional. And now with the Ultimate. Microsoft Visual Studio Ultimate is a comprehensive suite of application lifecycle management tools for teams to ensure quality results from design to deployment. It includes all the features in the premium and professional. And it has an amazing features like a tree trace, which is a historical debugger adding a great value to developers. It also has Microsoft Test Manager 2010, which enables complete test case management and test execution. Additionally, the new architecture and modeling tools are included in Ultimate, including support for authoring UML diagrams, like activity diagram, use case diagram, sequence diagram, component diagram, and class diagrams are supported also. There are some additional products in the Visual Studio 2010 family. Team Foundation Server is the center of gravity. It's a hub for a development team. TFS has a version control repository, test case management database, a worker item tracking and change management system. It supports build automation and comprehensive reporting built on SQL Server reporting services. Some of the new capabilities of Team Foundation Server include support for gated chickens, branch visualizations, and drag and drop merge and new agile planning tools. Lab Management 2010 enables teams to configure and manage virtual lab environments. Lab Management works with System Center Virtual Machine, enabling teams to create environment templates and checkpoint those environments. Those checkpoints can be attached to bugs filed using Test Manager 2010, enabling the person fixing the bug to open the environment right to the appropriate point in the application flow. Visual Studio Test Professional 2010 is the essential tool for anyone engaging in the test case management or manual test execution in the development lifecycle. This tool is done generally for testers, someone who tests the application but who is not responsible for writing code. This product includes Microsoft Test Manager 2010 as well. 